Well, where do you don't know what to do, being yourself? I have no idea. Well, no, this is genuinely. A decision. Well, is it a, it, does it feel strange not being, uh, being a character in front of an audience for you? Yes, it feels bad. It feels bad. <laughs> I'm regretting it. But I would have thought being those guys, because they're such weird comic creations. I Maybe for you. <laughs> I would have thought that would be more difficult. I mean, coming out as Borat certainly takes a certain amount of crazy confidence. Well, uh, the problem with Borat originally was... <laughs> <laughs> Am I right, ladies? Am I right? <laughs> 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 yeah, that was, um... <laughs> That was an interesting decision. That was. If you see, the nipples are covered. Yeah, yeah. It's, so it's, it's, it's kid friendly. <laughs> um, but that, that is old school sex. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> so being yourself, then, what kind of a <laughs> when, when you are out as yourself? Because uh, I think of you, you're a smart person without doubt. But uh, do you fit in with Hollywood crowds? Well, are you are you at ease with other famous people? Or, no, or no, no. I'm very scared to be next to Amy. Firstly. Good. Good. <laughs> But I've spent a few years in Hollywood and it's been a disaster, actually. Because <laughs> um, socialising has been very difficult for me. I, I once went to a party the first week I was there and Jim Carrey was there. Wow. He was complaining about being single and suddenly there was quite an attractive woman went past and I go... She was looking at him and I said, what about her? She's, she looks like she's up for it. <laughs> and he goes, uh, that's my daughter. <laughs> so... Basically, I don't go out in Hollywood. Oh, uh, <laughs> there are about 20 more of these. They are about... But um, uh, let's talk about your two. Your, Ali G was your first kind of really successful creation. Yes. Uh, now, when he was first created, he wasn't even called Ali G, was he? I believe it was just a generic term you had for him. Yeah, well, there was... We actually shot it, I think, in the next studio to this, the 11 o'clock show, back in the, back in the 90s, yeah. back in the old school. <laughs> <laughs> and originally, they came up, they said, we want to do this character called the Youth Wanker. <laughs> <laughs> I actually never thought Ali G was a wanker, but, um... <laughs> although he did play with his beast. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'd been... I came back, I said, what about this character, you know, and came up with the name Ali G. Yeah. So if you were talking to some very important upper-class person, they'd think that he could actually be that thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, so we were playing to their <laughs> prejudices. But well, I guess... some psychological levels. It wasn't just big knob jokes. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess at the same time as well, you were relying on and playing off of what is, especially in this country, a certain innate politeness. Yeah, well, it would happen in America as well, you know. So what I'd do is I'd go into the... go into the room and someone like Pat Buchanan, he was a Republican presidential candidate. Yes. You would know him, Amy. Yes. No, this no. is for you. <laughs> So, so, in America, you know, they were even more polite. So, someone like Pat Buchanan, the idea was I'd try and convince him that I was an idiot before the cameras were rolling. Yeah. <laughs> so, I go, yo, you know, it's wicked to be here. <laughs> and I go, you know, so, where is we? And he goes, we're in Washington, D.C. <laughs> we're in Washington, D.C. And I go, yo, is that near America? <laughs> and so, yeah, he go, yeah, that... That is America. <laughs> I go, wicked. Oh, wicked. It's great to be in America. Cause, you know, in a few weeks, I was hoping to go to the USA. <laughs> uh, he'd, say, he'd say, no, the USA and America are the same thing. And I go, all right, let's agree to disagree. You, know, <laughs> you, know, you say tomato, I say potato. You know. <laughs> let's bring this up. Let's bring this up. Um, <laughs> Uh, but yes, yeah, so that you know, and when I'd come in as Borat, the first thing I'd do is I go, "Hello, uh, nice to meet you." <laughs> and I go, "Can I please uh, make a shit?" <laughs> <laughs> the assumption was, if someone's coming into your house and they're asking to take a shit, <laughs> you feel sorry for them. Yeah. <laughs> as Borat, I know you got quite a lot of flack. Um, from Kazakhstan itself. Yeah, they got very upset because I hosted the MTV Awards as Borat. Yeah. And <laughs> I pretended that their Prime Minister, Premier Nazarbayev, came on. I go, no, Premier Nazarbayev. And I got on my knees and I kissed his crotch. Yeah. <laughs> and they got very, very angry and they decided, we are going to show this is not our Prime Minister. Our Prime Minister did not go on to MTV Awards and get uh, uh, oral 
bottle of relief from a bottle. <laughs> so they ended up spending about $30 million in a campaign to prove that they were the real Kazakhstan. <laughs> and that Bolat was yeah. not. Yeah, but meanwhile, what I decided to do was they got so angry that their prime minister, <laughs> Premier Najibayev, actually flew to Washington to complain to the American president. <laughs> so I heard he was coming, so I thought, Bugger this, I'm going to Washington. <laughs> so, I found out the half an hour window where he was going to be outside the Kazakh embassy and in the White House. And at that point, I decided to throw a press conference <laughs> outside the Kazakh embassy, <laughs> pretending to be the real Kazakhstan. <laughs> you know, I go, I want to say uh, this is such a crime. Uh, this uh, Jew comedian is not a real Kazakh. <laughs> he is controlling the media. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but what strikes me is that what you're doing actually, although very, very funny, is also quite dangerous, sort of. You must at times feel like maybe it could go too far. Maybe you would be in actual danger. Yes, well, there, there were some times, you know, where things got a little hairy. Um, no pun intended. No, no. <laughs> I'm above that. <laughs> um, that was a pun in English. Oh, I see, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I, I, we wouldn't laugh there either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, but yes, yeah, so, you know, it would occasionally get a bit hairy. There was a, a time we did this cage match at the end of this movie for Bruno. Bruno was this gay Austrian character yeah. that I played. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the idea was we built this ultimate fighting arena and we had like 2,000, um, how would you describe them? Sort of quite violent uh, people in Arkansas. Oh, yeah, red, well, rednecks? Rednecks, yeah. rednecks, thank yeah. you. I wanted you, you to want say the offensive yeah, term yeah, yeah. rather than me. Like... <laughs> <laughs> that should get out of jail card yeah, right there. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then basically the idea was, I, I had a lawyer, um, <laughs> and he was actually based in India. We had all these sort of Indian lawyers who... Hold on, why, why is your lawyer based in India? Well, cheaper. Cheaper. Oh, much. Yeah. <laughs> You know, we had literally one guy, he was like the expert in Arkansas law, and he'd go, well, in the case of McKenzie against the state of Arkansas. By the way, that was actually the way he spoke. Yeah. And that, <laughs> that became the basis for a character I did in Madagascar, <laughs> King Julia. I like to move it, move it, you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, uh, oh. wow, this person's very quick. Yeah. Yeah. So, but basically, he said, all right, he goes, whatever you do, I'm going to make his accent in English now. He goes, whatever you do, he's going to be American now. Whatever you do... OK, not a very good American. OK, he's going to be English. Where, he goes, whatever you do, do not cross a state line and incite a riot, because that's a federal offence, imprisonable for five years. I go, well, the problem is, I am crossing a state line in order to incite a riot. <laughs> and the idea was that me and my boyfriend in the movie, as opposed to my boyfriend at home, yeah. um, <laughs> um, would basically have a fight and then start kissing and have close to sex in the arena. So you're in front of Ultimate Fight fans. Yes. And I start kissing my boyfriend, we're making it, and the lawyer had said, you know, kiss on the mouth, but not... You know, you cannot kiss on the nipples. I'm, like, playing with the nipple. And it gives me these 15 laws. You know, the, the finger must not be close to the rectum. <laughs> but can you open... And I've got open palm. Is open palm all right on the anus? <laughs> open palm is fine, you know. <laughs> and so we saw him making it out. Da -da -da, and, you know, all the time, his hand's getting a little bit close to my rectum, and I'm taking yeah. it off. And then, basically, these guys started throwing these metal chairs in, and I'm lying with him on the floor, and I'm thinking, I see the first chair land, and I'm thinking, if I lie on my back, I can move him from side to side <laughs> and touch the chairs. I go, this is easy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, got out of it. All right, let's talk about your new character, Nobby. He starts in from Grimsby, opens on the 24th of February. I've seen it, it's very funny. Tell us about him and who he is and, and where he comes from. Well, the idea was, you know, to have a kind of James Bond character, and we thought, who would be his ideal brother? And I spent a bit of time up in Grimsby and up in the north of England. Originally, he was a kind of, meant to be a kind of football hooligan. In the end, it turned out not to be. But I went to a pub in Grimsby, one of the local pubs there, and a bloke comes up and he goes, well, are you, 
He goes, you're fucking Sasha Baron Cohen. Right, sorry, the accent is totally wrong. So he goes, you're fucking Sasha Baron Cohen. I go, I go, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm really not. He goes, it is. It's fucking Ali G. It's Ali G. <laughs> I go, I'm not. I'm not. I'm really not. He goes, it is. You're fucking Sasha Baron Cohen. I go, listen, okay. Be quiet. I am Sasha Baron Cohen. <laughs> just, just please keep quiet. He goes, you're not fucking Sasha Baron Cohen. <laughs> Why is Sasha Baron Cohen in our pub? <laughs> I go, you're right, I'm not Sasha Baron Cohen. <laughs> I go, I'm not, I'm not. You're actually right, I'm not Sasha Baron Cohen. He goes, yes, you fucking <laughs> are. It's <laughs> fucking L.A.G. <laughs> I go, went on for about an hour. This guy, this guy, I asked him, I said, what do you do? He goes, I'm a Neil Diamond impersonator. <laughs> Name any song. I said, Sweet Caroline. He goes, how does it start? <laughs> The worst Neil Diamond impersonator in the world. <laughs> exactly. Uh, let's have a look. I'm going to show you the trailer, and then we're going to talk about... Maybe we'll show a scene from the movie. Yes, and I'd, I'd love to. I'd be very interested to see how the audience reacts. Oh, great, right. yes. First of all, this is uh, just the trailer to get you excited for Grimsby. Opens 24th of February. Look at this. How could you not tell your own brother what you do? I'm a spy! You know, you should keep that quiet. <laughs> Nobby, I need your help. Oh, these heated seats make you feel like you've pissed yourself. They're all heated seats. <laughs> yeah, well, I told you not to smoke. At your age, you should just be vaping. Do you have any other skills? I can make my balls look like Sir Ian McKellen. Has anyone ever told you you're a very beautiful woman? Only a guest called Mr. Bill Cosby. <laughs> That pellet was filled with a toxin. I'll be dead in 90 seconds if you don't suck it out. Oh. You can suck my scrotum or you can let me die. OK. What would you like written on your gravestone? Suck my balls! In what font would you like that? <laughs> I'm Open uh, Feather the 24. Very funny. So, OK, so, look, we have a scene. So I'd like to show that to the audience. Excellent. And we thought we'd get your reaction to this and see whether you enjoy this. In advance. All okay. right, so, but can so you show this to people at home? Well, we can show a tiny bit. I don't think we can show much of it to people at home. OK. We can, so you should explain <laughs> what's happening. Oh, right, OK. So I first should say anyone who wants to leave should probably leave now. <laughs> I've been sued enough. Um, but I have a very good lawyer in India. <laughs> I mean, and you see, many people will find this scene disgusting. No, 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 no. Yes, well, yes, yes, yes. Maybe, yes. maybe. <laughs> so what happens is, so I end up with my brother. He's this kind of James Bond character. We reconnect. We love each other. Anyway, we end up on the run on this kind of Mission Impossible, Born Identity type mission. And something very bad has happened and something even worse is about to happen. So this is Grimsby, <laughs> opens February 24th. <laughs> you have been warned. There's nowhere to hide. I got an idea. Oh, great. Because your ideas have netted nothing but gold up to this point. You're gonna follow me and you're gonna do exactly what your big brother says. Hurry! Come on. Just here. Spread out. Fine. Oh, God, this is disgusting. I think you could have gone further. <laughs> Listen, I, I want you not to worry. You know, there is some extreme stuff in the yeah, movie yeah. as well. Uh, elsewhere, look, let me just ask uh, Womesh and Stephen whether they enjoyed that sequence as well. That was great. It was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> extraordinary. You, yeah. I, don't want to, I don't want to start rumours, but you both look a bit post coital yeah. <laughs> I thought I was going to have an asthma attack. <laughs> Okay, well, that's the yeah. film, ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous Mr. Sasha Baron Cohen. Oh,